Welcome to Cornerstone Media. Now, they're finally confirmed the Black S is going to be made. The Infinity Black S will be made. Now, I want to make this video about the few things that they better not incorporate into this possibly production model Black Coupe. Black S Coupe. First thing is, the 7 speed automatic transmission needs to go. Period. They've been using the same old technology in this transmission for almost a decade now. Other auto manufacturers moved over to DCT's dual clutch transmissions, which put down way more power to the ground than these slush box automatic transmissions. Come on, Infinity. Even Acura ILX has a dual clutch transmission, and that's, and that's a transverse mount motor. Uh, the second thing is they need to make this car lighter. Let, let's be honest. The Q60 uh, Q60 Coupe is a 4,000 pound car. 4,000 pound all wheel drive car. That's two, that's, two, that's two tons too much. If you're going to compete with M4s and C63s and RS5s, you got to go on a diet. You got the M4 Coupe, which is pushing about 34, 3,500 pounds. That needs to change. Personally, that needs to change. Now, the third thing they better not incorporate into the Q60 Coupe is run flats. Please, stop putting factory from factory run flats on these vehicles. We don't need run flat. These tires suck. Run flat tires suck, okay? They, they dwindle the performance of these vehicles a whole lot. Go with a standard non-run flat from factory, and I believe this car is going to perform a lot better. Now, the fourth thing that needs to be incorporated, please go back to the G37 370 days. Please add a LSD differential. Yes. Yes, this open differential sucks ass. There's no fun in it. No one enjoys these fucking cars. And allow these cars to get a little bit more tail happy. In the Red Sport, the car gets a bit more tail happy. Keep it like that in the, in the new Q60 Black S. That will be so much the fun fact that we would be placed back into this car. Allow these cars to be more analog. Yes, they were in a digital age, but allow these cars to be more analog. You even look at the Ford ST, the, uh, the Ford RS, I mean. Sorry, guys, don't come at me. The Ford RS, where you, could, you have drift mode on an all-wheel drive, even though it's transverse style. It, but it's still an all-wheel drive car. They have full drift mode. Allow us to have that ability on our all-wheel drive cars. Period. Lastly, Infinity. Please do not add these synthetic noises to the car so it can make it sound like it's a V8 or V6. A lot of auto automakers are doing it, and you're also doing it in the red sports. Please, stop it. If you really want to... I know you guys want to fake it to make it, but no, we don't need any of that. All right, thank you, everybody, for following Corner stone media i hope you enjoy your day and uh please click like and share on my video